For the past couple of months, I've been working in a restaurant called First Mile Kitchen. I built multiple components, and this week I'm going to show you in detail a lot of those things. This is a really unique restaurant that's opening soon in Wichita. The first thing that we completed was a kitchen island. This particular restaurant has an open kitchen concept where they have a hearth grill with an open fire where they cook the proteins and assemble the final food on this island. This is made out of ash, hardwood, in a butcher block style. All of the wood in this that we used is ash. The next component was the server station. These were ash cabinets built out of plywood and hardwood. We used floating shelves to hold excess glassware. Brass hardware was installed on all the cabinet doors and drawers. These details, the grain selection, all of that added up to make them really fun cabinets. One of my favorite components is this timbre booth wall. We built all of this in the shop prior to bringing it over to install. This profile was cut on the CNC machine in three inch wide strips of hardwood. The booth wall features a cap and a, a recess that just really makes the timbre pop. One of my favorite details of that is the exposed timbre on the front. You can really see the texture and I just think that is a very unique concept. Another part was the booth components, the actual benches that you sit on. We made these out of ash plywood and hardwood edging. These will eventually be covered in an upholstery. A room divider was also needed on the booth wall. This separated the bathrooms and the dining. One of the fun parts of this was the fluted glass that you see here. And what I really enjoyed was the fact that the fluted glass matches the timbre panel wrapping the wall. It offers privacy, but a very fun and cool detail. All of that was made out of hardwood. The space is extremely warm and inviting. And one of those reasons is because of my favorite component, this table. This is a 12 and a half foot long table with leaves that can extend it to over 15 feet. It has three circles inlaid in the tabletop and that is stunning. This is ash with a curly figure and straight grain on everything else. So that combination just really allows this table to pop. One of the unique challenges was how do you make that happen? And we chose to use a thick resawn veneer in order to inlay those circles in an opposite direction. Here you can see the leaf actually folds down into a recess on the leg. This was an engineering feat that we were not prepared for, but knew we could accomplish it. Features a magnetic catch to grab the leaf and hold it in position. You simply push the button and lift. Once it's lifted, you pull out these slides and supports 
and they will hold it in place. Again, the, the book matched figured boards are what really makes this circle detail pop. I love how the circle continues on the leg and the top. Another table we built is a little more simple in design, but it still features a lot of really fun details. The relief cuts on the benches, the, the grain of the ash. This is another warm and inviting table. If you look closely, you can see those notches were cut on the CNC. At the end of the bar, there's a component that drops it from a normal bar height to an ADA compliant bar, and this piece transitions that zone. The timbre drum features another circle, which you see as a common theme in this restaurant. It has the, comp the timbre panel wrap as well. A hardwood bar was one of the components that really made the space pop. It warms it up, it invites you to enjoy the bar, and this one took a lot of work to make it work as a hardwood top. One of the details you see here is this lip detail that actually provides support to your forearms and prevents drinks from spilling into your lap. Wood movement was a huge concern with this top, and there's a lot of detail and engineering that went into the controlling that. As you can see, it fits the bar space very well. Another side of the restaurant features another booth area with a lower back and a fireplace. This is another warm space. Feels very comfy and cozy. As it wraps around, it continues into the fireplace where we have wood storage boxes that we built. Very basic, but really makes it stand out. Another fireplace storage solution was under the stairs, and this was an angled piece that was a little challenge, challenging to build, but overall looks pretty cool. On that same wall, there's an ash staircase that goes up to a private room. This was installed using hardwood treads and risers, and I have a video on that if you'd like to see how that went together. The lighting, the mood of this restaurant is very warm and inviting, and I feel like the stairs add a huge factor when you see it in, in person. Another challenge was wrapping the handrail in a continuous run all the way down the staircase. Upstairs features a set of shelves and storage components, storing vinyl and excess alcohol. These fit the space well, but are very basic in function and really show off 
some fun stuff. These are ash plywood and hardwood as well. And fe feature barrister hardware for the doors so that they lift up and tuck away out of your way. All right, guys, there you go. That's the restaurant we've been working on for the past couple of months. Uh, it's a very fun project, lots of details. I hope you enjoyed getting to see some specialty items, a little different than a normal restaurant build. So we were excited to be a part of it. Totally um, excited to work with Adam in Alter Architecture and Nick Corby with First Mile Kitchen. So we hope you enjoy this video. We hope you enjoy looking at all the details how we built it. You can see some of the other work we've done uh, online and I have those videos as well. So if you want to follow along, like and subscribe, we would appreciate it. Thanks.